Hello, hello, and welcome to Mindset 101. This is the first video in a three-part series covering uh, Mindset 101. So thank you very much for taking the opportunity to watch this and learn with me, and I hope I provide you value. Uh, my name's Ryan J if you don't know who I am. So let's get into Mindset 101 and the foundation. That's this course, this one right here. I'm gonna lay it out for you, what to expect in this course in series. All right, <clears throat> in this course, we're gonna talk about your values, how your beliefs, your identity, and habits define your world, how all that defines your world. Uh, you're gonna be able to develop a strong mindset and that can help you overcome difficulties, achieve your goals, and boost your self-esteem. If you're like me and had carried a fixed mindset since childhood, um, I'm gonna teach you, yes, it is true, you can teach an old dog new tricks. And what I mean by that is you're going to be able to come to the realization because just because you were one way doesn't mean you can't grow and adapt and change. So we're going to rewire your brain. <clears throat> At the end of this course, uh, I expect you to get this out of it. You'll be able to identify what's the difference between a fixed mindset and a mindset of growth, you will you should be able to come out of this course with what is needed from you to build a growth mindset, how to increase your assets, your self-awareness and abilities. You should be able to come through, well, I'm gonna teach you how to break through obstacles, difficulties, barriers in your life that you may or may not know that you have that are holding you back. Uh, at the beginning of this course, I want you to know this. I believe in you way more than you are probably believing in yourself right now. At the end of this course, I want you to believe in yourself as much as I believe in you. All right, so let's get into it. What is mindset? And what's all this mind? No, I don't know hypnosis. It's not hypnosis. Uh, that would be magical. I do not wear a wizard hat. What is it? Mindset is a set of beliefs of what's possible in your life. That in turn determines the quality of your life. Okay, so my shirt says, welcome to the answer. That's a pretty bold statement. That's pretty bold. I believe mindset is the answer, is the answer to so many, if not all of your problems that you're currently facing right now. How you how you're programmed, whether that's from the past or your current programming, how you think about things, whether on the negative <clears throat> or on the positive, that there holds the answer or is holding you back. Mindset is everything and is key. Now there's two types. There's the belief mindset and then there's a fixed mindset. Let's talk about the belief or growth mindset first. Um, growth mindset. You're probably a pretty confident individual. You believe in yourself. You want to improve your skill set for the greater good of who you are and just your being right now. You want to improve so that you can make a difference. That's probably one characteristic trait of you. You view stress as a challenge and an opportunity to grow versus 
a dangerous subject. If you're stressed, you're viewing it as an opportunity to grow and learn from versus backing away or shying away from stress. Probably enough, well, definitely another characteristic of a growth mindset. Um, more often than not, you probably take ownership of your life. Uh, you aren't afraid to take ownership of your own life. Now, and those are characteristics of a growth mindset. Now, this is a super cheesy quote, super cheese of all the cheese. But thinking it through and like thinking it in its simplicity, it's so true. And this comes from Henry Ford. And he says, whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. So, yeah, I know, so cheesy and so simple, but, hey, got to call it like it is. Whether you, whether you think you can't, yeah, yeah, you're right. You, you absolutely cannot do that. Or, on the other hand, if you think you can, well, okay, yeah, probably can. Now, let's talk about what a fixed mindset is. A fixed mindset is literally 100% opposite of the characteristics that I just mentioned in what a growth mindset is. Um, most of what has happened to you to have a fixed mindset, and I don't know a specific percentage, you know, I'm not a mathematician guy, uh, but I want to say a whole bunch of people walk around with a fixed mindset and that it to to no fault of their own no fault of their own because it's not like they were born that way you're not born with a fixed mindset you're not born with a, a growth mindset a fixed mindset generally happens in your uh in your rearing years as a kid and that's that comes from your environment, who raised you, whether it was your grandparents, your parents. Uh, it comes a lot from the community and the socioeconomics that you're, you were raised in. And attitudes, attitudes have a lot to do with, you know, uh, your fixed mindset. Because you're not born believing all that stuff it goes through a filter into your brain and lo and behold you start acting like uh the your surroundings your environment you get your ideas from the people that are raising you or when you're in early adulthood your peers uh the schools you know all that has an influence on how you think and what you believe is possible. Um, so does that make sense? You following me? Another characteristic of a fixed mindset is just being complacent. Uh, having a victim mentality. Oh, the world, the world is bombarding me with a whole bunch of bad stuff. It's not my fault. You may blame other people as well. It's not my fault. I'm the victim here. Uh, you might have, well, you would, you would have a low self-esteem and you have quite often feel hopeless. Uh, a low degree of agreeability and not open to too many new ideas. So you may walk around, if you have a fixed mindset that, Oh, it's easy for him because he was raised in this area of town or his parents had this much money or everything was given to him or he he was born that way. He was gifted. Uh, he's just better at sports than I am or whatever the situation or whatever triggers your mental loop of negative self-talk. 
All right, I want you to take this out of everything in the course, this one, second course, and the third course. I want you to have this big takeaway. If you don't write anything else down or remember anything else, here's the key. The only belief that truly matters in the end is your belief that you can grow and change. With deliberate practice, you can change. Let me say that again. Here's the takeaway. The only thing that truly matters is that you wrap your head around the idea that you can grow, change your brain, rewire your brain. You can rewire that. Uh, and change to get better with deliberate practice. You can. All right. So we talked about growth mindset. Then we talked about fixed mindset. I'm going to give you some homework here. So that's the foundation. So in the homework, all right, and this, this, the, the whole notes of Day one, two, and three will be put up in the uh, files section of this Facebook page. Okay, so uh, the notes and the questions, you know, there's a questionnaire here. So here's your homework and one out of the six questions. Don't want to give you too many, just, we'll just give you one. But the, the rest of them are in the files. What habit do you currently have that you've always wanted to change, but thought was permanent. Okay, that's your homework. What habit do you have that your mind thinks is permanent, but you want to change? Okay, so that's foundationally day number one. Now, why listen to me? Why, why, am I, why am I qualified to even talk about mindset and give you this? Why are you listening to me? Well, not long ago, I was in a fixed mindset stemming from my childhood. I'm an average person. I am a 100% average person. Thus, actually, where did that come from? Well, I'm not anything more special than you are. Matter of fact, you're probably greater. I was told throughout all my childhood that don't dream too big. You're average. Um, you can't do that. What makes you think you can do that? This, these were words told to me by my parents. You're average. You know, oh, no, don't. Don't do that. Ooh, be scared of that risk over there. Uh, don't try anything new. Here, stay safe. That was, that was what was put into my brain. Thus, I turn out like not taking risks, thinking that I'm average, uh, that I can't go off and pursue my dreams to be safe, to be secure, to have comfort, all that. That was my mindset. I started, I started on a personal self-development journey. A personal self-development journey. And this has taken time. Oh, speaking about time, this is going to take work, determination, dedication, if you have passion for it. If you truly want to get out of your fixed mindset and change your brain to one of one that's going to uh, fuel your passions, believe, make you believe that you are limitless within the laws of nature, of course, that, that, with, that with the personal development, practice, repetition, um, positive affirmations, reading the books, 
paying attention to YouTube videos, finding mentors, getting coaches, changed my brain. Now, um, I pretty much believe anything is possible. Uh, and it's just me. It's me being responsible because I'm responsible for my own actions in life. And that's both good and bad. It all falls on me. All right. It falls on me. It's my responsibility to take care of me. What I've found is that mindset plays a big deal in that. Thus, here I am teaching about it, sharing value with you. All right. Um, so, again, let's get back to the homework. What habit do you have that you always wanted to change but thought was permanent? Okay. That's a writer downer. Write that down. It will be up in the um, where in the files section on the Facebook page. All right. If this was valuable to you, make sure you like it, you subscribe to it, and hit the little bell. Hit the little bell on YouTube so that you can be notified tomorrow when I go live. Well, when I post another recording, and tomorrow will be day two of this. All right. Thank you very much. Stay positive.